This is amazing. Now we are going to create Olama Rag app using Llama 3. First, we are going to download Llama 3 using Olama. Then we are going to create the Rag app. And finally, we are going to create a user interface for the app, which is going to look like this, where you enter a URL and then ask a question based on that. So that this is going to semantically search this URL and give us the final response from Llama 3. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Llama 3 Olama RAG app. In this, I'm going to take you through step by step on how to load the data from a URL, create embeddings from the data from the URL and save it in a vector database such as ChromaDB and finally ask questions to the saved data using Llama 3. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, make sure you download Olama from olama.com website. In your terminal, pip install Olama Langchain Beautiful Soup for ChromaDB and Gradio and then click enter. Next, Olama, pull Llama 3 and then click enter. This will automatically download the Llama 3 model, 8 billion parameter locally on your computer. Next, let's create a file called rag.py and then let's open it. Inside the file, first import Olama, next beautiful soup 4, recursive character text splitter, web base loader, chroma, Olama embeddings, string output parser, a runnable pass through. So first, we will load the data from the URL using web base loader. That data is split into small chunks by the recursive character text splitter then that data is converted to embeddings using Olama embeddings and those embeddings are stored in ChromaDB. The output is parsed using string output parser. So first step, we are going to load the data. So we are going to use web base loader and this is the URL which I'm going to load. So if I click the URL, this is the page and it contains information about LLM powered autonomous agents. Mainly we are going to ask large language model about what is task decomposition. So without rag, the response is going to be random, but with rag, it's going to be more accurate based on the context. So after loading the data using loader.load, we're going to split the text using recursive character text splitter. Then we are passing the documents. Those are the data from the web page into the split documents function. This will split the document and you can see the chunk size and chunk overlap. I've already covered in detail in regards to chunking strategy in a separate video, which I will link that in the description below. So step number two is to create embeddings and save that in vector store, that is ChromaDB. So we are initiating the Olama embeddings function. Next, we are initiating the ChromaDB. So this function will automatically convert all the data from the URL, which got split into chunks and convert those embeddings and save that in ChromaDB. So step number three, going to create a function to call the large language model Llama3 using olama.chat. In this, we are providing the question, that's the user's question, what is task decomposition? And we are providing the context. Context means it doesn't include all the information from the same page, only the relevant information from the page by semantically searching using embeddings. So step number four, rack setup. This is where you integrate everything together. We're initializing the retriever. So the retriever is going to use the question and search for relevant sections in the web page. Next, we are going to create a function called combine docs. This is when the retriever identify different sections of the website, which are relevant to the question. And we combine that together. Then we'll send that to the large language model. That's where this combine docs will come in. Next, rack chain. Here, we are using the retriever to retrieve the relevant portion from the page based on the question. Then we are combining the documents or the combining all the portions from the web page. And we are sending that to the large language model by calling the Olama LLM function. That's it. So literally mainly four important steps. First, we are loading the data from the URL and splitting that data into chunks. Then we are storing that data into ChromaDB after converting those into embeddings. Third step, we are creating a function to call the large language model with the question and the context. The context is created 
using the retriever. So the retriever will search the whole web page for relevant information based on the question. Then it combines those returned answer and send it to the large language model to get a final answer. Now we are going to ask a question, what is task decomposition? And we are going to print the results. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, python rag.py and then click enter. And here is the response. Task decomposition refers to the process of breaking down complex tasks into smaller subtasks. This is taken from the web page, which we provided initially. Now we are going to add a user interface to this application. But before that, I want to use nomic embed text. This is mainly used for embedding. So I'm going to pull that model using olama pull nomic embed text and then click enter. Now it got downloaded. Previously I used Llama 3 for embeddings, but there are specific models specialized in creating embeddings. One of the model is nomic. So I modified the code a little bit and I changed the olama embeddings model to nomic embed text. Most of the other things remain the same. And here I'm using Gradio interface, having two inputs. One is the URL, another one is the question. And the third output is the response from the large language model. And finally, iface.launch. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python ui.py and then click enter. And I've got the URL here. I'm going to open it. And here is the URL. Now I'm going to provide this URL and going to ask Olama and OpenAI how they are linked together and click submit. And now it's using nomic embed text to convert all the data from this web page into embeddings. Then the question is used to search the whole web page for relevant information. And then it's sent to the large language model. Finally, we get a response like this. And it's more relevant to what we asked for. This is exciting. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.